Good morning, guys, here at CJ Boats. I haven't actually taken my boat on the water. So if you guys didn't notice, the last uh, two episodes ago, so like a week ago, CJ bought me a new boat. So... So I can go boat with my family and my friends and stuff and it's about time I take it out there So I just need to undo this. I just want to I want to take it out go on 30 minutes Open it up get you know birds of fuel pretty much is what I'm trying to do We have another big day here at the dealership I got two appointments coming in We have one repair and and a guy named Austin's coming to look at a boat So that's gonna be a lot of fun today. Let me get her fired up. There we go. We got her backed out I'm gonna dock it real quick then i'll honestly i'm just gonna leave my truck in because usually nobody's here and it's uh for the most part i should be just fine but i just want to open her up i actually like i've only been on the lake like two or three times in this whole entire series so i think it's about time i take her out and and get her running now this lake is pretty small oh, the police boat is tied up to the dock this morning that's not good so i better be careful but I, I i should be fine they won't pull me over this morning but the water's just like glass there's no wind it's beautiful and yeah we're burning some fuel boys let's see how fast we can go 50 just about 55 i better lay off the throttle here this so this lake's really small i want to go to a bigger lake like we did last time with my new boat of course that's a lot of fun but i'm busy with work and stuff pretty much working six seven days a week seems like i'm working 70 hours a week it's pretty crazy but you as you guys can tell we've gotten a lot of water usually that's a little island but the water is up about a solid five, six feet, which is which is a lot for this lake. So that's never good. But the dealership is all good. Our ramp can withstand about 25 uh, feet of flood water, which is really nice. But then uh, once we're up, once once we get past that stage, it's it's on, and our dealership is flooded. But I don't think I'll ever get that high. They they already have it coming down a foot a day. All right. Let's load this back up here and we will get busy. I think Garrett arrived this morning. I, I, I just got to work 30 minutes early so I could do this. All right, there we go. We got her off the ramp and we're good. So I'll park it back here by the dealership and yeah, the boat ran really good. I was really happy with it. So I got to get to work, get the computer fired up. It's good. It's Saturday, guys. It's a beautiful day. We're going to hit, hopefully we're going to hit our first 80 degree day, which is awesome. The water temperature is starting to get out of the 60s, hopefully here. And Tuesday, well, what I was saying is Tuesday, we might hit 90, which would be awesome. That would bring the lake water temperature up. You're going to see a lot more people wakeboarding, wake surfing, doing all that stuff. And a lot more water sports, which is brings a lot more people out here because... They can actually go in the water, swim, have fun without being in a wetsuit or freezing, chattering their teeth. It's always really funny. The first person to like be on wakeboard and it's like 60 degree water temps. They're just freezing. So let me boot up the computer this morning. And I also supposed to be in here in about 30 minutes. He's my first appointment. And then we have a repair on one of the boats that was purchased about a month ago. So Bolt will be busy with that stuff. And I think I think there's Bolt pulling in this morning. And wait, is that Austin? He might be early. But and, I'm pretty sure that's CJ and Bolt. Yeah, it is. Yep, there's Bolt. He's pulling a harvester. I forgot to tell you guys, they're harvesting our sweet corn today, which I will try and show you guys that if I'm not too busy here at the office. Good morning, guys. How's everybody doing? Doing uh, good. Yeah. How about you? Doing good. The whole uh, gang's here. Let's see what uh, Bolt brought in here. You know, it's a little. <laughs> this um, is Bolt. That's why I got yeah. out of my desk to come take a look. Who's paying you so much, Bolt? Um, you don't worry about how I get my money. Was this with the company card? No. I know. Sure you know how much these that? things cost? All right, yeah, guys, we, we got. Did anybody see that Lamborghini and that Dodge pickup just pull in? Yeah. yeah. What was that about? They came in hot. Here, CJ, if you want to deal with Bolt here, but yeah, if you guys harvest some sweet corn, let's be sure to give them to customers. For sure. Okay. All right. We're going to go see what those guys are up to. Introduce ourselves. Sounds All good. Right. Let's do it. Uh, good morning. How's it going? Good, good. My name's Spencer. This is Ian My and Garrett. Garrett. Yep. Yep. Hello. Hello. Well, uh, we came down here to buy some boats. That's good. I see you came in with Lamborghini. That's very nice. Is that a yeah. Ventador? Or... You know, I the, the guy just sold it to me, honestly. Um, okay. I, I don't know what it is, but, it, you know, it, I just bought it a week ago. Who did you he buy said it I from? Need, the, the guy, uh, Leslie's Lamborghinis. Oh, he came in here a couple yeah. days ago. Do you recommend yeah. you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he know. he bought a uh, a nice speedboat from here, so that was awesome. We got to oh, meet okay. him. So yeah, you trying to? Oh get yeah, it? I think, yeah. That's that's where that's where we got the uh, that's where we got this place from, right? He yep. suggested. It? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And right. this is your son back here? Uh, no, this is my assistant. Oh, assistant. Oh, yeah. Assistant. You have deep pockets, yeah. I see. Uh, well, obviously. Are you trying to get a boat to match with this thing, or? Honestly, yeah. Yeah, that was kind of the idea. 
We do. Right. I have a bow for you. That. Yeah, yeah. I have a bow yeah. to show you that would match that perfectly. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, now we're talking. Can Came we go take right a look place. at it? Oh, obviously. All right. Well, let's go. Let's do it. So is uh is this the boat? Uh, this is um, not the boat. That's our that's our guard <laughs> dog who didn't do a good okay. job. We got robbed like two weeks ago. But oh, that's well, besides that's, the that's point. That's nice. This, That's all dealt with now. <laughs> yeah, it is. We we actually had to take care of it. But this is the boat that I'm talking about, man. All red, top and oh, bottom. Man. Yeah, this is our speedboat. 250 horse, closed bow. Go ahead, jump up here. I'll give you a hand. Man, this is nice. Yeah. Sit in the seat. Right, hold on. See how it feels. See here real quick. Oh, man. This oh, looks yeah. like a nice boat. Oh, man. Got your cab underneath, too? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 uh, nice. It's nice for sure. So you're out on the water. Here comes some thunderstorms, you know, just brief storms. And you and a duck underneath with the wife, you know, stay out of the water. So yeah, for that's sure, super for nice. sure. What are we looking on price for this? Ian? Uh, you're looking around 59000 Okay, okay. So not too bad. Yep, she's brand new 2020. We do breaker. have different models. What, what do you think of this? Yeah, Breaker. Huh? Well, you're my assistant. You're supposed to be paying attention. What the heck, man? I don't pay you to. I don't pay you to stargaze. I'm sorry, sorry, boss. What do you what, think? What do you think of this boat? Uh it's pretty nice. I ain't driving it for sure, but it's pretty nice. Darn right, you ain't driving it. You know what happened to the last boat you drove? This, this is the reason why we're here. Is because oh. you crashed the last one. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> what did you guys yeah. have before this? Uh, we had something similar to this. Uh, just it, it was pretty close. It was more of a speed boat, um, kind of ski boat mixed. Okay, gotcha. Cool. But uh, yeah, very cool. I, I think we'd be looking for something yeah. like this, and then possibly uh, a big yacht. I'm thinking. Okay. You're looking to pick up multiple? Uh, yeah, yeah, multiple. That's kind of why we brought both vehicles down. All right. And you guys, you guys may think yes, a Lamborghini. I know it doesn't look like it until much, but I got the towing package on it. So uh, I saw that. So so yeah. Mr. Leslie says it's uh it's supposed to be good for towing. Leslie came down here with the same one and pulled a. Well, he actually bought this speedboat, very similar model of this, and yeah, he pulled it in his Lamborghini. So, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, looks like uh, it looks worked. Like he sent me to the right place. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All Ian right. and Garrett can help you with if you want to look at the yacht and the cruiser there. They can All help right, you with that. I'm gonna sure. jump on the computer and run a few numbers and get a few things done. So. All righty then. All right, guys. Uh, I am very curious about who these guys are. So I'm going to do a little bit of research, see if I can, I have their first and last names and see if I can find who they are. I actually might call Leslie here and see here. I better make sure they aren't over, over here in me, but I better make, I, I'm thinking about calling Leslie and see if how much money they have. So they pulled in with a Dodge 3500 limited Cummins and then a Lamborghini from Leslie Lamborghinis. Now he upcharges them a bunch, super expensive dealer. And he didn't even know like what model he got. So these guys must be deep, deep pockets. So I'm going to do a little bit of research on them, figure out actually how much money they have and kind of what we're working with. Because if they're thinking about buying two boats. I just want to get to know them, I guess. See if they actually have the cash from Leslie and make sure they didn't screw them because sometimes we have big guys roll in here and they actually don't have the money. So, Hey, Leslie, this is Spencer. Just calling in to see how things are going. Things are going good at the dealership. Is everything going good with you? Yeah, man, we're doing it. We're doing really good. Something interesting happened this morning. So a guy came in with an all red Lamborghini and his name is Austin. He has an assistant in an orange Dodge Limited 3500. His name is Breaker, and they said they just bought the Lamborghini from you. So, and, and they came rolling in here with acting like they got deep pockets, really big money. So I was calling in to see to see if you had any information on them to make sure they were legit and everything. Yeah, man, they good. They uh, they good. I just processed their payments. They they good on money and everything. So that's really nice. And they legit, man. They got some crazy business or something. They didn't tell me too much about it, but yeah, they got the money. You can trust them. All right, man. That's good. That that was the main reason why I called and make sure everything was going good. But how's your boat doing? The boat that we sold you? It's doing good. I took it out on the ocean the other day. The ocean, child. That's not meant for the ocean. Yeah, man. It took the waves just good. I had a 20 foot white cap and I just full 
send it right over the wave, but I had a bunch of girls in it to make sure we didn't sink or anything. Make sure we didn't get too much air when we hit the wave, so that was all good, but yeah, the boat is great, man. All right, y'all, that's awesome. Good to hear. Well, I gotta hang up on you. I have to go run to those customers. I just want to talk to you and check up on the boat and make sure they're who to see who these guys were. All right, sound good, Spencer. You have a good one. Toodaloo. Yep, see you, ciao. Is everything so is going good? Something? Are you guys looking? You're looking yeah, at the Hummercrafts? He's looking yeah. at the yacht. He likes the yacht, too. So, okay. we'll, uh, He's yeah. Definitely going to be picking up multiple here today. Dude, Breaker, you... what you think? What you think? Uh, green or blue? Um, wait, there's only green and blue? Aw. We, so? we can get more. We can order. Yeah, we can definitely you. get some different uh, wraps for it if you want. Yeah, some new paint jobs. Yeah, you I guys could do right. a wrap. Who, who's the owner here? Who's the owner here? Who, who's like who's the who's the main person I talked to? The one throwing the boat over. Uh, yeah, uh, CJ. He, yeah, he's here. All, right over there. Um, he's coming over. I waved at him. There you go. That looks like right. Hulk over there. Oh my goodness. Mr. CJ. Yep. You need Would something? it be possible? We get one of these. We get it delivered, but uh, I want an orange wrap on it. An orange wrap. I think we can do that. Uh, our mechanic might be able to. You know, wrap it up. Uh, all right. Well, I'm I'm talking like a an orange paint job or an orange. Yeah, orange all wrap. orange. Yeah. Any are other you colors? thinking more wrap or are you thinking you wanted to be repainted? I think repainted would honestly be better. All, all right. right, we can do that. Definitely. Yeah, definitely can do that. Would you like the uh the fam painted too or? Uh, no, I think that's pretty good as it is. All right, we can get that done. All right. It'll be well. Uh, I think slightly... that's a deal on that for sure. And a uh, yacht, and I think we need to test drive the uh the uh the Port fishing boat, boat there. Oh, the fishing boat. You're buying all four? No, no, all, all three. I'm, I'm not thinking. I'm, I'm not thinking not boat. about the speedboat. Okay. Okay. The speedboat's. Uh, yeah. yeah. Here, I'll, I'll go uh, get. I'll go get that in the water right now for you. Yeah, you can throw that in there. Yep. In right. just the Ranger 250. Or the 300 model is what he was looking at. 350. Oh, 350. Yeah. 350 yeah. Okay. yeah, 250. Yeah. Cool. Yep. I'll get that in the water here. Do you have boating right. experience and everything already? All right, guys. Looks like they are looking at the 350 model the ranger here so let's get this in the water so it's it's kind of i thought he was coming in for the speedboat but he's looking at the yacht hovercraft which we don't sell a lot of those but they do do very well down south those are really nice in the swampy areas and stuff but kind of surprised he's looking at that i'm not sure what those are pretty cool and it sounds like they have a lot of money and then they're looking at a fishing boat so i must like to go fishing i'm gonna try and get this in the water for him so they can jump in and i'll Tied up to the dock. Take them on a nice test drive. So these guys, we're going to sell three boats to one customer. That's going to be pretty crazy. There we go. Undo the strap. Let's fire her up. So there we go. Back it off. Looks like they're ready to go. I like to put it on the end of the dock just because it's, it's somewhat shallow over here. I guess they're in the flood right now. It's not too bad. But just for safety and those guys aren't used to the boat. That I don't want them accidentally. The wind pushes up and... And they're just ramming up against the ramp. So let's go ahead. I'll get this right here. Leave it running. There we go. Tire up. All right. I'm going to go yell at them. Let them know they can take it out for a spin. And I don't know if they want you. Uh, you know, that's uh, yeah. always come in handy. All right, boy. Totally she's in the water. She's All right. In the water. Ready. ready to awesome. go. Take it for a test drive. Yep. Keys are in it. Just be careful. Uh, Yeah. If you guys want to show them how to run it. Yep. Walk over with you. You know, they're spending so much money. I'm thinking I could almost get his assistant on a jet ski, too. I feel like his assistant would like that a lot. And, I mean, they're just spending so much money. So, maybe they get jet ski instead of the hovercraft. Honestly, we, we have better margins on the hovercraft. So, honestly, I don't mind it. But I do like to push a lot of jet skis out there. I feel like they do really good and stuff like that. But I got to do some more computer work. And hopefully, we can get these guys closed on and get them all signed up and out of here. But I think Garrett and Ian are doing a really good job. So, make sure to check out their channels. There are other salesmen. I have everybody linked in the description who's in this video. So, make sure to go check them out. Give them some love. They would really appreciate it. And they make really cool videos. So All right. It looks like uh, you're going to go with the motor yacht, the 40-footer, um, the bass boat. And you said you want the wind boat in a what color was it you said orange orange okay we'll get that put on i think our mechanic can do that up in about an hour so let's see all right yeah can, can we get just get that delivered yeah we can uh we can have that delivered it's gonna take a little while but you can take the two home that are ready to go today I'm just all gonna right have perfect you sign this right here hands okay. over there you go there's a pen good all right nice and uh that just says that you are in full ownership of the boats and yeah I think you're soon going to get insurance on the boats as soon as you can. Yep. Get the titles sure. over. Cool. All right. Uh, it looks like we are all good. 
and plug you into our system. And yeah, so we have a full warranty for three years on all of the boats. And uh, that should be on any problems. You bring it on in here. Or if you want to come to our ramp, feel free to come down. All right, right, will do. Sounds good. All right. Well, uh, you can back your Lamborghini up and get that thing hooked up. All right. Cool. Well, let's get going, Breaker. All right. All right. So you guys heard them. They bought a yacht, the Bass Boat Ranger, and the the Hummograph. So I'm going to get this in the water, get this tied up, and then it looks like he's going to pull this with the Cummins, and then he's pulling the yacht with the with the Lamborghini. So Chow must have really sold him that the towing capacity on the Lamborghini is a lot. So that's funny. Chow, Chow really likes to brag about how his Lamborghini gooseneck can, can tow quite a bit. So I'm just going to get this loaded up here. Oh, there we go. He's doing it. Perfect. It looks like he's hooking up to it there. Perfect. And then, oh my, what is going on here? He's got the Lamborghini all twisted up on the cruiser. What in the heck? Okay, that, that looks really cool. That Dodge is pulling that good. Let's get this in the water. I think Ian and Garrett are dealing with the Lamborghini and everything over there, but I think they'll get it squared away. Sometimes we have problems with that because the driveway coming in is just so steep, but I think they'll get it figured out. So let's go check in on the cornfield back here. So this is what we used to. My plan was with this, or I guess it was CJ's plan, but his plan was to... Everybody gets a bag of sweet corn if they purchase anything, anything like that. And he has a daughter who wants to sell it too. So he's got quite a bit here. It's it's enough to give away and then also to sell for his daughter who's just trying to raise money and make some money this summer. But I think he brought in the harvester. I'm not. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to hand pick sweet corn, but I'm sure they'll figure that out. So this is what Bolt plowed up the other day when that was a few days ago. But that's what he did the other day, and it looks great. It looks really good. It's already. Already ready to harvest. So that is probably going to wrap it up here. I'm going to be busy doing some more computer work. I have quite a few calls to make on clients. A few just check-ins. I like to call new boat owners the first two weeks they own it. I like to call them once or twice. And then monthly, I usually give everybody a call during the boating season and trying to get all the winter orders in for this place. So what we like to do here is winter storage and just cram this thing full. And then all the new boats go out one of our other warehouses but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode let me know by smash the like button please subscribe if you haven't already like i said go check out we have literally bolt ian austin here breaker myself and garrett that were all here in this video so make sure you go check out their videos they're really good and subscribe to them if you haven't already anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one